Hi Paper Crafters, this is Robin. Today I'm sharing you my project for the My Craft Spot Challenge this week and I'm using the Mother's Day Bouquet Cricut Cartridge. And here I'm just going to show you the images that I used from the cartridge. Uh, that larger flower, I cut that twice and then this flower and then that starburst flower. And then on the very bottom is the leaf I cut and I'm sorry I'm out of frame here. Um, I pick it up a little bit so you can see that leaf. Okay, so those are the images. And then this just shows um, how I had them placed on my mat and had them cut out. And yes, I do use masking tape on occasion to hold down my cardstock in place before I cut. This just shows how I have the pieces laid out using my gypsy. And the largest flower is one and a half inches and then they vary in size from there. So that just kind of gives you a, an idea of the size of the images. I have my paper trimmer here. I'm going to show you how I cut the cardstock and I'm going to rotate the cardstock. This is a piece of So Saffron cardstock from Stampin' Up! and it measures eight and a half by eleven and then I'm going to score it like I just did there at four and a quarter and then I'm going to score it one more time at one and one quarter inches. And that's just going to be a piece that I'm going to fold over. So once I do that, I rotate it and then cut it at five and a half inches. So with those two pieces, I'm making two cards. So here I grab the green and I'm going to score it at five and a half. This way, the card's going to be the opposite edge. And then score again at one and a quarter inches. Rotate it and then I'm going to cut it at four and a quarter inches and that's going to make my two cards. And the pink piece is going to be just like I did the So Saffron. Now that I have my pieces cut, I'm going to go ahead and just fold them in half and score them. Again, fold it in half and score it. And four of the cards are going to be the landscape view and then the green which is the um, sage shadow piece of cardstock that's going to be the portrait view of the card. Now I'm ready to cut my pattern paper and I'm going to be cutting it at three inches. So for the yellow piece and the pink piece of cardstock it's going to be three inches by five and a half so I'll cut four of those and for the two green piece of cardstock it's going to be four inches by four and a quarter inches. So two at that size. Now I'm ready to go ahead and just attach my pieces to the front of my cards. So once I have those on there um, I'm just doing a quick attachment because I'm going to use my sewing machine to sew around the edges. So, and then I thought I would add just a little bit on the top. This would just give a little bit of a different look to the top of the two pink passion pieces of cardstock. So the top will have a little bit of a, a different look. The pink one will have a little bit of a different look. So then I wanted to grab my corner chomper and I'm just chomping off all the corners each corner. So this, love this corner chomper. It works really well. And I'm doing the half inch. There's a, a quarter inch corner and a half inch corner. And I'm going ahead and doing the half inch on all of these. And I did have a little bit extra that hung over the edge on a few of those. The pattern paper hung over the edge. So I just trimmed that off really quick before I use the corner chomper. I'm going to go ahead and add some words to the front flap of my card and I grabbed this stamp set from my craft spot. This is the Sweet Sentiments number one and I'm using four of the sentiments from this stamp set and I love my craft spot stamps. They stamp beautifully. Um, I'm using the Versafine ink which the black and it's it's bright and vibrant. I really like to use this as just a basic black ink. 
Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of stitching around the edge of my card and that's just, I just showed you just where I'm going to do the stitching. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be back with showing you how I've done the flowers. For the flowers that I cut out using the Mother's Day bouquet, what I did is I took them all actually to the kitchen sink and got them really wet and just scrunched them up a little bit. And then what I do is I bring them over to my box here and I am um, using the heat tool to dry them. And once they're pretty close to being dry, I go ahead and unfold them. Now I have to be really careful with these pink flowers, the, the light pink ones, since they're really fragile. When they're damp, it's, you can tear them easily, so I have to be a little bit careful. So once I unfold them, I just dry them a little bit more just to make sure there's not any more wet. So I just keep spreading them out and drying them with my heat tool. And then once I got them dry, I grabbed my Glimmer Mist. And this is the, um, I want to say Dazzling Diamonds, but that's probably not the right word. So I spray them really good with the Glimmer Mist. And then I flip them over, and then I will spray them one more time really good. So they'll have some a lot of shine and sparkle. So I took a peek, and Dazzling Diamonds is the right name. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to be putting my flowers together and I'm just layering them on top of each other, just alternating colors here. And then I use my um, liquid glue and just glue them together. Just add a little bit of a dot and just glue them together. Um, and then I just kind of use the, the back end of my stylus and just kind of fold it around and just let it dry like that. And then once they're dry, then I go ahead and just open them up a little bit and it doesn't take very long for them to dry using this liquid glue. So I just open, opened them up and used um, one of the big recollection pearls to put right in the center. And that's all there is to it. And there you can see the stitching on the card. I went ahead and grabbed my crinkle ribbon, which is from my craft spot, and put around the edge, the front edge flap, before I glued it down. And I just tied a quick knot right in the front, and I'm just going to add my flower right over the top of that knot. I had my hot glue ready, and so that's what I used to attach my flap. So I just add a quick dab of hot glue around the edge and then folded it down. And that's what I used to attach my leaves and my flowers as well. I just add a, a blob of glue and added my two leaves right there and then my flower right over the top. And then you can see right there is the pocket and in the pocket is where you'll put your just your card. Here I'm measuring the size that I'll need for my pocket since I have that stitching around there. Um, the size is going to vary a little bit. So I did end up, for the size that I needed, it would be three and three quarters by four and three quarters. And then I just took my corner chomper, chopped off the corners, and then just placed it into my pocket. Thank you for visiting today. And if you have any questions or comments, you can just leave them on my blog or on this video. Have a great day, everyone.